Kevin Muma kicks it away. And they'll give Atkinson a chance from a yard deep. Hits his own man, bounces off, and is out to about the 24-yard line. So here comes the first and 15. Into complete. Toma, the intended target. And they bring the jet sweep with Atkinson. And there's a penalty flag off the top. And a Notre Dame player just ran onto the field. The backup tied in. Golson, high, complete to the 40-yard line and a first down. He comes back and makes a good catch. Ball on the Irish 40. Golson going to keep it airborne. Coming deep down the middle, got a man open, and he overthrew him. Ecker. So that was Chris Brown who they turned loose on that last pattern. Now they come back with a second down and 10, and Wood is thrown for a loss. As you take a look at the UPS efficiency chart, and Riddick is stuffed. The Irish are forced to punt. 19 yard line. Hill feels it at the 16. Shakes and makes his way to the 21 yard line. And so here comes Maxwell with a first and 10, but he's backed up now to the Spartans' 11 yard line. And here comes Bell with his first touch of the game. Picking up down, and Maxwell back to throw. Dropped, and he wanted Dion Sims, but there's a penalty flag thrown on it. Brent, the, I'm sorry, the, the official called interference. Michigan State needs seven. Maxwell snaps in, dropped. Would have been a low punt. The Irish are going to have great field position. We have a very, very Ola signals right with the quarterback on the defensive side. They move the pocket to the quarterback's left. Incomplete, and it will be second down and 10. Riddick back in as his running back. Play action him. Got a wide open receiver is Toma. And Toma. Between Golson and his young inside uh, receivers there. Hand off right straight ahead in the middle of that front. And now for Robert, you keep track of all that activity. Here it is second down and long. Golson, who's a fine runner, slips the pressure. Fires back deep across the field. Got a man in the end zone. is bumped. That's interference, and he caught it anyway. That's a touchdown. John Goodman. A 36-yard strike across the field. With a groin injury forced to the sideline, Brenza beat Purdue as time was running out last week in South Bend. Brenza with the ball on the tee. Drills it. This one's coming out on the 25. Finds himself behind. And a handoff to Bell trying to stretch the defense. Makes his way to the 31 as we... Heavy heart, but we sure hope that at least provides some comfort tonight. Yeah, exactly, Heather, as the Spartans come back with the run. And that was third down now for Maxwell and the Spartans. Flushed on the run. Fires for the first down. Ball out to the 42-yard line. Keep the field for the winning touchdown. Play action. Maxwell wide open and there's a penalty flag thrown by the back judge. Ten. And off to Bell. Thirty. Comes back underneath incomplete. Bridge where they can get around him, get off field. Sweeps left. Puts the pressure and across the 30-yard line of the Irish. Straight back. Gonna fire one-on-one -on -one end zone. Incomplete. And Russell was the young DB with coverage. Now it is second down and 10. And they'll sweep back in his direction with Bell. And Irish sideline. 
It's third down and nine. Russell was injured on the play. They for incomplete. That was Caper working on. This is year three. Conroy. No good. Everett Golson. And they bring him around the in that time with George Atkinson, the return man. Remember, he was the target on the first pass. Underneath the Toma. Toma breaks a tackle. First down for the Irish at the 42. Kirby gives you an idea how fast he really is. Sierra Wood on a play action to him. Golson coming deep with that arm of his. Incomplete. George Atkinson has checked back into the game for the Irish. Here he comes to the 45 yard line and William Polish like a lot. Under assault. The defensive ends were putting heat on that. Fair catch. And they step away from him at the 17 yard line. Well, the better he's going to be able to play, and the more he'll settle down, especially on the road. Yeah. Late hit there. Late yeah. First down and 10 for Andrew Maxwell trying to get something going, and now they bring the jet sweep, but not much doing there. And that is McGarrett Kings. All for $10 million prior to this game. <laughs> They're helping all our officials play action. Maxwell rolls out to the left, drops it in underneath the Larry Caper. He's short of the first third and short. They'll run him for the first down. And he makes his way close to the Irish fort. So Kings is back on the field for the Spartans, the freshman on this first down, and they give it to him on a quick screen. Trying to get the freshman loose with that speed of his here for Michigan State. Three step. Incomplete, and it is third down. Sim. Backfield goes empty on third down. And he's back through underneath that time, and will punt it away. Devante Neal back deep for the Irish. Mike Sandler, left-footed punter, hangs it up inside the ten. Bluffs the fair catch. And gets it to get into the end zone. That's a touchback. That is. Sideline. Leaping catch. And it's a beauty by Toma on that far yards here in the opening quarter. That one's incomplete. And so now he is 5 of 11. Riddick was thrown vertically downfield. Second and 10. Atkinson, the swing man, incomplete. Three man rush. Golson runs away from it. Now fires dropped. Could have had a first down on that pass. To the Fair catch at the 22 yard line and that's where the Spartans 11 for 39 yards. So they will start off with Bell open with him for about four yards on for Lou Holtz and a very good Notre Dame team back in the day. Here is Bell for the Spartans and he is stuffed. Brent Shembo nice job of fighting off team. Nine Maxwell. Put it up again, but the Irish have sacked him at the 16-yard line. And Neal back deep. Left-footed line drive punt. Here comes Neal from the 38-yard line. Slices up the middle. And again, good feet. And out there joining the ACC in every sport but football. Here's a handoff to Atkinson on a reverse. Wide open. Atkinson, 30, 25, 20 with that speed. Into the... And off into the middle, Riddick, about the 17. Norman making the stop for the 
spot. Now you just know, having watched Brian Kelly tonight, Herbie, he's going to be putting it up early in this series. No. Throws back, complete, 15, 10. Across the five-yard line, T.J. Jones, and it is a first and goal for Notre Dame. Golson in trouble, dances away. What a move by the youngster, but Adams is there. Offensive line holds. Golson jumps, five corner, dives, hits the pylon, touchdown Notre Dame. Oh. Brenza attacks on the 14th point. <laughs> Dame athletic director. And we're going to find out some more details about that move to the ACC by the Irish. And this will come to the 25. Let's go down to Heather Cox with the AD. Thank you so much, Stanford, because they're so geographically desirable. What about rivalries like in the Big Ten like this game? Well, they're very important to us, and we'll just have to figure out how to strike the right balance among all those. But getting to California annu annually and playing Navy. On Sims, the Spartans trailing by two touchdowns. They come back with their big running back. Herbie, I know you have been very impressed with the athleticism on this Irish defense. I can't get over it. I mean, everybody's talking. Number five for Rush. Maxwell fires for the first down. Mumford. Trying to attack Notre Dame in a pass game on first and ten. The Irish try a blitz and they get to Maxwell down at the 35 and 12 for the Spartans. Maxwell fires in underneath a dangerous throw and Bell makes it to the Maxwell back to the field incomplete. There's the penalty flag and it to the inside to beat him there. Then on first down, they come back with the big fella Bell. He yeah, comes yeah. across midfield. Defense. Bell motions out. Caper is set behind Maxwell. And they'll flash to Bell. First down. Slam at the four. Well, let me correct myself on that last one. Here's a hand to Bell. And Bell battling for tough yards to the 35 and four. Play action. Comes in underneath for the first. That first down and 10 at the Irish 26. Send it to the outside on up in that backfield on second and seven. And Maxwell's going to put it up and in trouble. Sack back at the 34. Now from the Notre Dame 32, a third and 16. And another beautiful big leg. Long enough. Got it. Much involved in this game. Line drive, and it'll come out on the 25 yard line. So, Herbie, here's this week's Aflac, my friend. In the wood. In as the running back. Play action. Golson in trouble. Steps away. Fires at a great catch. Near the first down marker that time. Let me hear myself absolutely clear about this one. And bust the across. We're going to go with the wristband. Sierra Wood. Play action. Golson going back deep. Fires middle. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Middle. And it's incomplete. But has been very quiet in this game. He goes in motion. They hand to Wood. Eifert's the lead blocker. Gives him a great block for a first down in midfield. Riddick back in as a running back. Golson. Inter no. Juggle. Running back. Toss play to him. Steps outside. Working his way back into game shape. Remember, the Cincinnati line has done an admirable job so far. Battle for it on the side. Fair catch. And he lets it bounce. Stops on the six-yard line. 
So he gambles. Enjoy. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's fine. You're gonna, you're gonna have a great time. Hand it off. And uh, just so kill the, the clock. Irish want to kill the clock <laughs> here. So Notre Dame will have the lead here. At the intermission, Bell gets loose. And he's got a first down, and that's the end of the first half.